if there's too much carbon dioxide slipping into our atmosphere where it traps bouncing sunshine and makes our planet warmer, too warm, what do we do? Well, you can't blame carbon. I like ice. Yeah. Sorry, penguins. But I can't help myself. I am what I am. Right. We can't stop a carbon atom from behaving like a carbon atom. Right. Can't. Now remember what we've just learned about carbon. You don't like being alone. Right. Totally don't. You do like bonding. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You particularly like oxygen. Oh, yeah. So when you can, you form lots of CO2. Right. Right. And that's not going to change. That's never going to change. So if carbon wants to be carbon, and if people want to get richer, then what do we do? What can change? Well, we could just possibly figure out ways to use less carbon with solar or nuclear or wind or any other kind of energy, or we invent ways to capture the extra CO2 from smokestacks and stick it in the ground. Carbon. And one day, engineers will be able to suck CO2 right out of the sky. Removing CO2 is usually called carbon sequestration. Ah, but I call it Dr. Flum's Carboback Atmosphere Super Sucker. Well, that's a little ahead of us, but engineers are working on all kinds of different approaches. But none of them are going to be cheap. So the question is, how much are we willing to pay, or how much can we change our behavior? In the end, global warming is less about science than it is about choice. Carbon will not change. It can't. But people, if they want to, maybe they can.